So Nathan, a 4 0 victory against Bishop Auckland this afternoon, and Whitby Town uh, lifting the inaugural Tony Memorial Trophy. And really, today was all about Tony, wasn't it? It was. Listen, he, a great man who I've I've known a number of years, um, and sadly, you know, we, we we lost him earlier on this year. Um, great footballing family, um, Spike and Sue, um, and it's it's one of those today was about Tony. Um, managed both teams impeccably, great record. Um, like I said, it, it's a loss for North East football, but the game itself, um, it was a good game, good workout for us. Um, I'm sure Bishop's got a lot from it as well. Um, but for us, it was about stepping up, um, moving up a gear from, from, from the other night in South Shields. And, you know, with a, a threadbare squad today through through Knox, um, we've, we've, we've acquitted ourselves really well. Yeah, and in terms of that football performance, it may seem a bit one-sided, 4-0 to Whitby, but at the same time, you know, Bishop Auckland passed it around well as well at times and giving Ripley yeah. that good workout. A great football inside and it's it's one of the reasons we wanted to play them. They, use, um, they made the pitch big, they're expansive in the play um, and we knew it would be a good workout because they, they pull you around and they'll do that against teams from high levels. They've, they've done it against Middlesbrough, they beat Middlesbrough, but for us it was about being disciplined, communication. We're going to come across teams this year. Um, that are going to play a similar way. Um, so we wanted to implement a plan. The plan worked, and, and the nice thing is we were, we were clinical at the top end. Yeah, and I suppose the key coming to this one as well was on the back of that impressive performance against South Shields midweek, just making yeah. sure that we can do that on a more consistent basis. Yeah, we've, we, we, we knew where we needed to strengthen in the summer, and we've, we've done that. And it, it seems at the minute it is only pre season, those little missing link up players, where they seem to be gelling now. It's coming together. Um, we look important in front of goal. We're creating chances. We're scoring, um, and we've just got to keep it going. But ultimately, it, it comes down to the first game of the season. That's when we've really got to do it when it's for real. Um, but so far, so good. I can't ask any more of the lads. It's you know they're doing what we're asking them to do, and they are generally stepping up a level every time we play. So it's um, yeah, it bodes well moving into next week. Yeah, it was Brad Fuse that gave Whitby the lead in the first half. Um, a nice shot on the turn there, and once again to show any the sharpness in front of goal. Yeah, um, and before that, listen, uh, we've mentioned it, Bishops like to play and it, it wasn't so much a trap, but it was something that we wanted to be alert on. Um, them losing the ball, which we did, and uh, Brad showed his clinical side and it was a great finish for him. Yeah, and in terms of that first half, one theme that we did notice perhaps last season weren't getting shots of as much. It seemed that none of the players were afraid to get those efforts away. No, um, we're getting into good positions and, and when you get into a good position, you feel comfortable to shoot and variable play will do that. Um, but we are the link-up player that we, you know, we're creating. There's some good combinations between the, the three, three at the top end of the pitch, and it's it's creating spaces, and we're, we're generally sliding balls through for for opportunities. So we've just got to keep doing it, got to keep doing it, and, and when it doesn't happen, we've got to keep believing. Um, but yeah, it's certainly the the top end of the pitch where we want to improve. Yeah, and in, in that second half, um, Julian Mandala getting himself a brace, and the first one in particular, real. Neat team goal there, good dummy from Jerome Greaves after that fantastic ball in from uh, Corby Shepherd as well. It was great. I mean, Jerome wasn't 100% fit today, but you know, with short numbers, we had to bring him on. He, he seemed okay to do that. His contribution was phenomenal, to be fair to the lad. Um, but you're right, great link up play with uh, Junior. Um, he's, he's today he was very, very good. Uh, well deserved of the man of the match. Um, but it was, a, it was a good finish. and to a lot of people, when they say on the camera it's an easy finish, but you've got you've to time that run correctly because he was at the back stick. and. Like I say, it's dispatched it really well. Yeah, and then the uh, second one for Junior, I'm sure it's a ball that Priest Griffiths won't mind us talking about quite a bit. Um, yeah. Incredible pass there. It was. That's what Priest has got. He's a, he's a quarterback. He, he sees passes short and long. Um, but for him to play those balls, he's got to get the runs. And Junior gives us that now. He gives us that running behind. Um, but it was it was an inch perfect pass and great finish. Yeah, and then the fourth coming from the penalty spot. Um, and again, it was more the build up play there. Once again, Josh Thor just getting into the yeah. area and uh, sort of drawing the foul in a way. Yeah, it, listen, it was it was going to happen. It, it was about being patient with the ball. We didn't need to chase the game. We were, we were obviously rotating the ball, keeping it rolling. And we knew what, no, more opportunities would come. Um, it come with Josh. It was great play by him, to be fair. Real deft feet, um, won, the, won the penalty. and. And uh, Gratz has come into the club. He's been a penalty taker at Belper, and he's took his first one for us today and, and dispatched it. So, you know, it, 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 it's a great day. We're well, great all round day for us, really. Yeah, and uh, in terms of the system that you played as well, we saw in the first half um, a back three, which is something that has been highlighted in the past where it has yeah. gone 
sort of yeah. spectacular run in certain matches, but look comfortable yeah. in there. And then even the second half changed to the back four yeah. and a change of shape further up. It seemed to always work whatever you were playing in. Yeah, the, the shape was dictated by what we had available today. Um, not a massive fan of three at the back, if I'm being honest, um, but we had to play it. Otherwise, we'd have had square pegs and round holes. Um, they quit themselves well. We went with four at the back, which was what we're more accustomed to in the second half. And I thought we were, were better in the second half. We did look more comfortable, but it's it's about setting challenges for the players and, and it's for them to find solutions on the pitch. And they've done that throughout the 90 minutes. I think um, I think we've changed the formation three or four times during the game. Um, we won't be doing that when it when it's for real, but it's nice when you when you see a young group of lads uh, solving solving problems. Yeah, and then just look at a quick turnaround back in action. Tuesday night, Gisborough Town away in the... Uh... Mickey Skinner Trophy and uh, Gisbo, again, they're probably going to give you a good game, beat Stockton this afternoon as well. Yeah, it'll be a meaty game, they're, they're competitive, I know Belly and Craig are really well, um, they'll have a good season in the Northern League, I've got no doubt about it. Um, it's another game for us, it's another game, we, we need to assess ourselves tomorrow, we're a little bit patched up at the moment um, and then we'll, we'll take it from there, but you're right, it's another step forward for us, uh, we've only got, what, three games left now, it's important we just keep making those you know, forward movements, we're moving in the right direction and we're injury free, so fingers crossed we'll do that. Thank you, Stephen.